we have another integral battle. The first one, the integral of e to the square of x over square root of x. And the second one, the integral of square root of x times e to the square root of x. Which of these do you guys think is easier? Do the easier one first. All right, as we know, both of these integrals, they have e to the square root of x, right? However, for the first one, we divide it by this square root of x. And then for the second one, we multiply by this square root of x. So which one's easier? Well, we also notice that we have the square root of x in the exponent for the e. So we must do some u sub, right? And we can say that u is equal to square root of x right here. And then we know the derivative of square root of x is 1 over 2 square root of x. However, when we do u sub, we have to divide it by that derivative. Dividing by 1 over 2 square root of x is the same as saying multiply by 2 square root of x. For the first one, we have this square root of x in the denominator already, so that this square root of x will cancel out when we multiply by the 2 square root of x. Okay, so the first one is actually easier. And now let me put this down in action to show you what I am talking about. That u is equal to square root of x, and u sub is enough for the first one. Okay, and before I take the derivative of this equation right here, u is equal to square root of x, I can just square both sides. I can say this is the same as saying u squared, which is equal to x. And the reason I want to do this is, if I take the derivative now, I get 2u du, right? And then the derivative of x is just dx. I can solve for dx right away. So sometimes, once in a while, when you have u is equal to square root of x, you can square both sides first, and then take the derivative, you get from x to get dx right away. Okay, so now I can just go ahead and take this integral into the u world and integrate over there. This is the integral of e to the square root of x, which is the u, over this square root of x, which is the same as u again, right? And then for the dx, we know now this is the same as 2u du. So we multiply by 2u du, and then now what? You see this u and that u cancel each other out nicely. And we get, let's put the 2 in the front first. So we have 2 integral of e to the u du. And we can totally integrate this. The integral of e to the u in the u world is just e to the u. Therefore, we get 2. And the result of this is just e to the u. We are done with the integration. But at the end, we take this back to the x world. So we have 2 e for the u is once again the square root of x. And we are so done, so we can put a plus c at the end. That is it. How about this one? <laughs> now what? Well, because of the square root of x is in the exponent, let's you know, begin by doing some substitution and to see how does this look like in the u world. So I will do that right here. u is equal to square root of x. It's pretty much the same exact thing right here. So uh, let me square both sides. So u squared is going to give me x. So that means 2u du is the same as dx. And let's take this integral into the u world. This is the same as integrating. This is u. And then e to the square root of x, which is e to the u. dx is 2u du. So this is what we have, right? And now let's put things down nicely. Let me put a 2 in the front. And then this is the integral. For the inside, we have this u times that u. So that's u squared. And then we have e to the u, right? And then we have the du. And now what? As you can see, they don't cancel out. <laughs> in fact, they become u squared. Unlike this one earlier, the u's canceled each other out. And that was pretty nice, right? So now what? Can we do this? Yes. In the u world, this is doable with integration by parts, right? This is just a polynomial, u to the second power, and then here we have, uh, no, e to the u. So integration by part will work nicely. And of course, let me show you guys with the di method. And let me do this in blue for you guys. So let's put on the d column and the i column, and don't forget the plus, minus, plus, minus. And if you want to check out the di method, I will have the link down below in the description. I have all the examples, all the things that you have to know with the integration by parts with the DI method. 
All right, so let's pick something to be integrated first because this is harder. So make sure we pick the correct thing to be integrating, okay? Should we be integrating u to the second power? Well, that's pretty easy to do, right? However, if I integrate u to the second power, this is going to give me bigger and bigger, right? In the meantime, e to the u is always e to the u when you differentiate. So that doesn't really do us any good. Let's switch it. Let me integrate e to the u. And this is totally not bad at all, because when you integrate e to the u, it's always e to the u anyways, right? And let's differentiate u to the second power. And this is the first stop situation you will see. Because now if I differentiate u to the second power, I get 2u, and then do it again, I get the derivative of this, which is 2, and then I take d again, the derivative of 2 is 0, and then I can stop. The first stop says, when you differentiate the, um, the part, if you get 0 in the d column, you stop. So that's why I stop, for it's exactly enough. And then integrate e to the u, which is e to the u, e to the u, e to the u, okay? And you don't need to worry about the du or whatsoever right here. This is just the setup, okay? We are going to read the answer from here. First, let's put down this 2 in the front, and then let's open the parentheses for the result, this integral. And then when we have the 0 in the d column, we can finish the integral, okay? And this is how we are going to get the answer. Remember that the product of each diagonal is the part of the answer already. And don't forget to attach a sign in front. So for the first part, we are going to have positive u squared times e to the u. So that's just u squared e to the u, right? And then for the second part, we do this times that. And that's a negative, negative 2u times e to the u. So that's minus 2u e to the u. And then for the third part, we have positive 2 times e to the u, right? So we add 2e to the u. And you see, this is why we stop when we see the d column has a zero. Because if you want to do the next one, 0 times e to the u is just 0 anyways, right? So we stop right here, and all the diagonals are the answers right here already, okay? There's no more integrations. So we are done with the integration part, so we close the parentheses, and at the end, as usual, we take the result back to the x world. And in the meantime, let me do two things in one step. Let's also distribute the 2 in the front, okay? So, for the first part, we are going to get 2, and then we see that u squared, it's x. So that's just x, and then e, u is square root of x, okay? And then for the next term, we are going to have the minus, right? And then 2 times um, negative 2, we have the minus 4. u right here is square root of x, e to the u, u is also square root of x right here. And for the last one, we have 2 times positive 2, so that's plus 4. E, and then the u is the square root of x. And then we are all done. So put a plus c at the end, and this right here is the answer. And you see, I only have one term here, but then we end up with three terms here. However, both of them are not bad at all. That's it.